Hey guys, I got a 1977 Bronco for you today. It's about to hit our showroom floor. This is a cool build. It's got a blueprint 302 crate engine, which is pretty sweet to see. It's fuel injected. It's got a five speed manual transmission, nice dual exhaust with headers, nice newer wheels and tires. It's got the hard top on it. It's got a roll cage. It also comes with a Safari soft top if you would rather switch it out from the hard top eventually. Um, check out that engine there. It's got power brakes, power steering, fuel injected, throttle body. Uh, I'm gonna hop in and fire this up for you. It is a Ranger trim. Always starts up nice and easy. Idles nice. Let's see, you got your fan. Got a radio in here. This does have a pretty cool stereo system. Let's see if I can get it to turn on for you. Looks like the antenna probably isn't hooked up to it. Probably have to use like a Bluetooth or a USB plug-in. But it does have some speakers down in here, which are pretty sweet. It's got a five-speed manual transmission. You got your four-wheel drive controls there. Got a horn. wipers dual fuel tank button there you have it there's your blueprint 302 engine this has got aluminum heads on it it's got plenty of power to get this Bronco with these big tires down the road in a fun way Very reliable drivetrain. You got a power steering pump, newer style, with a serpentine belt kit. There's your headers there. Power brakes. It is front disc. Now the paint and body on this Bronco is more of a driver quality. It's in good shape. It's recently gone through a significant, significant paint polish, compounding, flat sanding detail. And it came out really nice. It's got a great shine to it as you can see. It is cold out today, so there is some condensation in the exhaust. Very nice rumble. As you can see, the exhaust is a newer system. It's got a tow, tow hitch here if you want to tow something with it. It's got a nice matching spare tire and wheel. A lot of times people skip on those. So this, the body on this Bronco is steel, but someone did bond on these. These are fiberglass wheel lips here that someone bonded on. So you got steel here. This part here is fiberglass. If you look real close, you can see where some of the, from where they bonded it to the steel, you know, where some of it's starting to crack a little bit. But, you know, check out the door fit over here. You know, really nice and tight all around. You know, opens nice. In here, you got your Holly Sniper control unit. You got a uh, auxiliary fuse panel. So 
up here. I believe this part is still steel. There's no cracking up on the front here. You got your worn hub. Moving over to the other side. Looks good here too. Check out the door fitment over here. Also nice and square and even. All right, so over here you got a little bit of paint touch up, a little more cracking from the fiberglass wheel lip. Scratch. So the paint body on this is certainly driver quality. This is something you could take out, not be afraid to have fun with it. Drive it every day, take it out on some dirt trails, do a little four by four wheeling with it. Um, you know, it's, it's just a nice driver quality Bronco, the super reliable newer drivetrain in it with that five speed. I mean, it's, it's ready to go. And it also does come with a Safari hard or Safari soft top. So if you wanted to take the hard top off, you could put a soft top on it that it comes with. You can ask us if you want a picture of it with the Safari top on. We do have one with it. We do have one with the Safari top on it around here somewhere. But if you're interested in this car, go to our website, carsrememberwin.com. We'll have about 80 high resolution pictures, including those of the undercarriage. You can take a close look under there. There's a lot of new suspension components under there. It shows really nice, but thanks for watching and give us a call.